let's talk about why a rollout switch would open. There's obvious and not so obvious reasons. This is White Rogers by Copeland's integrated furnace control. This is a single stage device. You can drop your phone right here and you can actually set this up in many different ways. You can customize this device. It's really meant to take the place of many different parts that are out there. It's a universal furnace board. The most obvious reasons are a cracked heat exchanger. So when that blower fan starts up, the air pushes itself into the heat exchanger, you could have a flame rolling out. I've seen it a ton of times. So because the way furnace boards are designed nowadays, it senses a closed pressure switch off the bat. Let's say in a perfect storm, the pressure switch is closed for some reason and the induced draft motor doesn't start. Guess what? It's going to draw flames out. I've tested this before. An old junk pieces of equipment where I'd bypass the pressure switch just to see what happens. It starts up like the flame rips and it draws back out because there's no induced draft motor drawing it back in. One of the less obvious ways a flame rollout switch can open is if the secondary heat exchanger is clogged, you can't see it and the heat exchanger is overheating over time, slowly, 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 and that whole burner cabinet becomes really, really hot. You could go off on high limit as well, but I've also seen it where it goes off on rollout because with the cabinet door on, there's a lot of heat concentrated in that burner section. 